What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here. All right. For those that, I mean, there's a couple that have uh, thrown some shade at me on Twitter, saying that I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to uh, when it comes to Thor and the tone change from the previous movies or the previous just all the movies to uh, what we got in Thor Ragnarok. Everybody's saying like, no, it's very accurate to the Jack Kirby to the Jack Kirby Thor. Which yes, the visuals, I get that the visuals, but I don't know why they. I guess they thought the Thor Ragnarok story was a comedy back then? I don't think so! No, I mean, to me, I mean, I'm not, and I can't say that I'm a huge Thor fan, but to me, it seems like I, th I thought Thor the Dark World, because it took place mainly in the realms out there in the cosmos, not on Earth so much. I thought that was more Thor-y than the other two movies. But, uh, you know, we all have, it's whatever. I'm probably going to get some more <laughs> trolling tweets again. But there is a tone change. And who do we have to blame for that tone change? And like I said, it's not even a bad thing. Kevin Smith. Apparently, Chris Hemsworth, he said right here, hearing someone like Smith, who represents the fanboy world, was such a kick in the ass to change gears. We sort of had nothing to lose. People didn't expect what we did with it this time around. And that's very true. I mean, the title, I mean, the, they had the logos, just significant changes right there. And like I said in previous videos, I mean, depending on your perspective, you're either going to think it's brilliant and you're going to love it, or you're just think it's terrible and absolutely trash it so they took this route over here and guess what it paid off paid, paid off significantly i don't think it would have worked as well if it was like a dark you know middle earth story like the you know dark gritty story about just the end of things and everything like that over here it wouldn't have uh it wouldn't have struck a chord because people wanted to be more like hey let's see this epic uh visually stunning funny um popcorn flick over here something a little different even though you know if you've seen guardians of the galaxy they're pulling stuff from there come on now but it all paid off they made the right choice okay so the people that are gonna come after me about that hey i'm actually saying it paid off it worked out I, I liked it. I enjoyed it very much. I actually can't wait to see it again. It's going to be one of those movies that I will watch over and over again. I think it was probably better than the other two Marvel movies that came out this year. Um, Spider-Man and Guardians. Definitely Guardians, but there's something about Spider-Man that I just like a lot. So, I don't know. They're pretty even when it comes to the MCU movies. How does it favor to Wonder Woman? Eh, I, I don't like it as much as Wonder Woman. I, I can't say that. <laughs> you feel you taste it, fat boy? That's fine. Call me that. I don't care. But, uh, yeah. The, so, there you go right there. Turns out Kevin Smith had a lot to do with it. And, you know, Kevin Smith knows. Kevin Smith has a pretty brilliant mind when it comes to stuff like this not all the time he's had i've listened to some of his stuff and i'm like no no you can't do that kev come on but right here he was spot on and apparently he was the inspiration to change that tone and they got the right director for it and it and like i said it all worked out i enjoyed it a lot of people enjoyed it some people didn't and that's fine nobody was like going crazy and just epically sh just trashing on it. i'm sure there's some people out there but people in my little you know you guys and stuff like that were okay you know you had your gripes you're not gonna see it again fine that's whatever it wasn't for you that's perfectly okay. Anyways, guys, there you have it. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about this? Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the other channel, too. Follow me on the social media stuff that is floating above my head. And, of course, i got shirts available. Go get them, guys. I'll talk to you later.